Hello everyone and welcome to my next reaction to Echo. So just so you guys know, for the past week I have been very, very sick uh, with a bad cold and, you know, a lot of coughing and sore throat um, and all of that. Um, you know, uh, it's just been not the best. Uh, the past, uh, <laughs> about the past week, and even a few days ago, I actually lost my voice for a bit, uh, which made recording any reactions near impossible. Um, I still have a little bit of symptoms. The sickness is still lingering a little bit, but I definitely feel okay enough to record, but I'm just letting you guys know because, you know, if I seem kind of off or my energy seems a little bit lower than usual. That's probably why I did take a shot of DayQuil uh, before recording this reaction and the next reaction uh, uh, for Echo. Um, so hopefully that'll keep the symptoms at bay and I won't have like a coughing fit. Um, but it's been lingering for a bit. I kind of was hoping that I was going to recover in a couple of days and that did not happen. And I gotta, you know, I kinda gotta get back uh, into recording, um, but I am taking, I'm, I'm giving myself an easier schedule uh, while I get back into it. But um, I really enjoyed the first two episodes of Echo. I'm very excited to get into this one. Let's go. Oh! Oh, I love this. Oh, please. Oh, please. What are you, random people in my YouTube comment section? <laughs> eh? mm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Braid. Braid your hair, girl. <gasps> A trippy trap! Okay. Ooh. She's not even taking cover. Do it. Don't waste bullets. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Ah, you used to melt like butter when I talk Indian to you. Mm, that was a long time ago. It doesn't have to be like that now. Ooh! You haven't seen her any more than I have in the last 20 years. <clears throat> Not for me to say. Why don't you ask her? Mmm. Unlikely. You lost your daughter. Why don't you just swallow your pride before you lose your granddaughter, too? Ooh! I can't talk to her. Okay, all right. Oh! Oh my word. All right. Oh! Ay, yay, yay. Okay. <laughs> this looks like a well put together operation, okay. Oh. I will babysit her since you two are too chicken shit. Oh uh, boy. Have fun. Somehow I think Maya's gonna make easy work out of these three stooges. You know what I mean? Just... <gasps> Is this Bonnie? Oh no, Bonnie! Yeah, sorry. Um, not a good time. The rig's being um, audited by the IRS, and I'm just swimming in paperwork. Oh! The IRS. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. Appreciate it. Hi, right, Bonnie. 
Dispatch. Dispatch. Go! Oh, oh. Oh. Boy, Maya, you're gonna deal with this situation with body whether you like it or not. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Hey, look at that. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know that you drifted apart. <laughs> Century, aren't they? We gotta go back in there and hold on. It's not worth the trouble. Oh my goodness, she's gonna build something. How fun! I uh keep some money safe while I assess the situation. You don't have that walk in with the money, do you? I tell you what, boys, when the gig's done, ring pops on me. You can look this up, right, Brad? Oh, boy. You know, a lot of these guys have quite a neutral color palette going on with their outfits, but for some reason it just seems like they're wearing red. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ooh! What? Ooh! This is so fun! I love. Oh! 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 Okay, go oh, right. And, and there you go. Where's that niece of yours, huh? By Lopez. I think you're all about to find out. Tip. Where is Maya Lopez? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, Maya. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. did work on all of those guys though. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> I? Let's go! Oh. What? 
you promise? You better. You better. Whew. <laughs> I don't know. Which part? The part where we oh. almost die. Okay. Because there's a price on your head. I have to, yeah, get it out, sweetie. We'll shoot him harder next time. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> if the offer still stands, I'm helping you. Oh. Okay. Okay. <gasps> oh my, it's gorgeous. Oh my, yeah, uh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> that means uh, Chuck Tushka is on the scene. Stop, that's beautiful. And like, badass, and um, I, mm, I love it. Oh. I thought she saw something. Oh! Well. We could have figured that this was going to happen at some point. I kind of love the uh, Western music with Fisk. He normally gives kind of uh, New York mob boss vibes, but that honestly suits him as well. Okay, what an interesting... Um, episode, a lot of action. A lot of action for Maya there, and you know what? I, I was okay with it, because I feel like they really wanted to showcase uh, how well she actually fought, um, and or how well she can fight. Uh, I, I feel like we obviously got a bit of that in, you know, the, the Hawkeye series and all of that, but uh, I like that they kind of gave her her moment to really... Um, have a really really good uh, fight scene where she's just really wrecking wrecking these guys for sure um, and I kind of it, it's interesting I feel like there's a lot of within the family within um, you know kind of people in this town and everything um, I feel like we have it, there's a lot to address um, I feel like her with her grandmother uh, it's going to be, I feel like they need to talk. I feel like they need to talk and kind of clear it out. Obviously, we saw that the, the grandmother uh, specifically had a very, very hard time losing her daughter. And yeah, I, I assume that it was just easier for her to try to like not... I think she was grieving, and at the time, it was easier for her to not reach out, to try to forget it, to try to move on, um, and I, I can't necessarily imagine that, you know, she feels very good about that, but we'll see. Um, but also, when Maya was kind of saying, well, she never reached out to me, <laughs> I, I didn't say it in my reaction, but... There was a little part of me that's like, well, you know, somebody did reach out to you and it's not like you were super responsive. Now, listen, maybe not entirely the same thing, but you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Maya. <laughs> um, uh, with that being said, I do hope that she does actually kind of talk things out with Bonnie um, in a more honest way. <sighs> you know, I think... 
Maya is very aware that she has done bad things. So she's not like the hero of all heroes. I think there's an element of one, I think she, she kind of uh, doesn't want to show herself to people like Bonnie. That I think she holds Bonnie in, <coughs> excuse me, um, a very high regard. She doesn't really want to be that transparent with Bonnie. And you open up that door, it's almost like she has to face what she became for Fisk. What, um, you know, maybe Fisk kind of manipulated her into doing. And that, but she did, but she did those things. You know, she's not completely excused by all of the killing and, and, and this, that, and the other thing. I think there is an element of her not really wanting to, you know, um, make contact with Bonnie because she she's not super happy with the person that she has become. Now, it's also, I mean, it could very well also be the fact that, you know, she knows that her life is super dangerous and cutting people off it is also a way to protect them. I think it's a little bit of, you know, both there, if that um, kind of makes sense. Um, so, you know. Um, but I do think that there is an element of, you know, Maya is, is very aware of who she has become and the ruthless things that she has to do. It's kind of the, all she knows is this this violence, um, you know, uh, to kind of, which has been insanely nurtured by Fisk. Um, and hey, it's going to be interesting to see them interact uh, in the next episode. But, you know, I, I just think that that's just who she has become. So once, uh, you know, Fisk's, Fisk, sorry, she feels betrayed, she feels lied to, shoots him in the face. That's what she knows. So she, you know, and then, and then what does she do after that? She tries to take down his whole operation. She tries to, you know, make herself rise up. And because it's what she knows, it's how she survived for this long. Now, I do think that there's something deep down in there that's, that is going to be tapped into with her family, with her uncle, with Bonnie, with um, Biscuits. We love Biscuits. Um, and that, you know, maybe she is going to kind of tap into that humanity that she, I think, has sort of intentionally locked away because if if you really look at the things that you've done, it's kind of difficult to face those things with the lens of your own humanity and your compassion and the the child you once were. You know, it's, it, it's probably a very triggering thing for her to go back to this place and, and um, you know, think about how carefree she was as a child in, in you know, kind of, forcing herself to sort of look at who she has become. Now, what route is she really going to take? Is she going to keep going on this violent, ruthless route? Or is she maybe going to try to find other, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know how you get out of this situation without a, without some type of violence. Um, and I think it's really interesting, the conversation that she had with her uncle. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm still recovering and talking this much is probably not helping, but I just have a few things to say. Um, but, the, you know, at the end with the uncle, uh, I think, it, you know, he kind of had this attitude of like, you're going to bring pain to those you love. He's not wrong. You know what I mean? He's not wrong there. You're going to bring pain to those you love. But there's also maybe an element of like, well, I, how else do you get out of it? How else do you get the family out of 
um, this sick cycle, and I feel like for him, and I know he wasn't focused on as much in this episode, well, or as much as Maya was, you know, um, but I feel like there's, there's probably something that kind of clicked in his brain that is just like, I, he, he is in it. He's in this bad situation, following orders, so to speak, and, and kind of trying to do what he needs to do, kind of, you know, to, to walk that straight line so that nobody he cares about gets hurt. But he is also being presented with the fact that now, you know, another generation or Maya um, and Bonnie and, you know, are, are kind of now in the mix. You know, you think I even Maya's father, you know, was saying, like, I don't want you to have the life that I had. But if you don't fight and get your family out of this, then they're born into it. And then it just keeps going. It's the cycle that keeps going. I don't know. I find that aspect of this very, very interesting. And I hope that it gets focused on even more as the show goes on. I know that there's only two episodes left, but that's, that's, I, I really like the family aspect of it. And how do you get out of this? And, you know, um, I think that that's, um, one of my favorite themes, I guess, of, of this. And we'll see what happens going forward. I mean, obviously there's, Fisk and Maya are going to talk and it's going to be, who knows? But anyway, um, those were my thoughts there. Um, otherwise, uh, a great fight scene with copyrighted music, um, but that's okay. Uh, I'll try to uh, edit around that and, and all of that, but um, I do hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it, but if not, I'm just happy that you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.